All right, so um, my opponent and I have agreed to draw into top eight here because of the structure of this tournament. A 4-1 could potentially miss top eight, where 4-0-1 is a lock. Um, so uh, my opponent and I have drawn, but we are playing uh, matches for edutainment. So uh, we're here. We're going to play a match. And uh, But my opponent and I have drawn. My record now is 4-0-1, and that should put me into the top eight of the Rivals tournament today. I think I just lead on Wild Growth Walker here. It could be right to lead on Jade Light, just to like try and hit a land. I think I have so many Explore creatures. I think she's on, I'm gonna pull up her deck list real quick. Yeah, four, four Lava Coil is pretty stock. I could play, I could play this. I think I just wanna be resource efficient this turn and play this. And then next turn I can, uh, ho hopefully, next turn we can go Walker into Branch Walker. Perfect. So we'll go ahead and attack with this. And I'm hoping the fact that this didn't get Lava Coiled this turn means that they don't have a Lava Coil. They don't have Lava Coil. The only hard removal they have for Wild... They don't have any hard removal for Wild Growth Walker. So if they don't have Lava Coil here for this, it's just going to grow out of range. This hitting a spell is actually pretty good here. Because it means if we get Chain Wooler this turn, yeah, we're going to lose the Elf, which is great for us. Uh, a Wall of First Strike is a little bit annoying, but this follow-up Jade Ranger does mean the Wild Growth Walker gets ranked up to 6. Perfect. I'm actually going to bin the Growth Chamber Guardian here because I don't really want to find Growth Chamber Guardian off of Incubation. And I'm going to go ahead and dig with Incubation this turn. I would like a Hydrate Crisis, though. The first strike's real tough to deal with. It also makes attacking a little bit awkward because while they don't have hard removal for the Wild Growth Walker, they do have the ability to, like, shock this and then stack first strike on top of it, which is a big deal. But we can draw lands the next two turns, so that way I can eventually, um... I can eventually get this down as a 4-4. Uh, if I triple block here, I basically trade my 4-3 for their 3-3 first strike, which I think is a good exchange for me. Okay, I'm going to lead on Branch Walker before uh, that can sit right there. Because while I do really want to hit a land for next turn, this is basically an extra draw to land, whereas bidding it would also be a draw to land, and this comes with a 4-4 body that eventually turns into an 8-8, and uh, as Wild Growth Walker is showing here, large creatures are very good in this matchup. So I'd like to play Zagana into a land, ideally, here. Or Zagana into an elf. Yeah, Branch Walker's not terrible. Um, huh. So, I think I actually attack with Wild Growth Walker here now, because it's got Trample. Maybe I should have attacked with it last turn. No, they would have just blocked with the Phoenix, right? So if I attack here, and they block, they still take two. If they have, like, Shock here, they can, like, trade Shock plus Dire Fleet for my Wild Growth Walker. But I think that's a good exchange for me. They don't have anything, they don't have any Lightning Strikes in their decks. So they have to have Double Shock or Shock plus Carnival Carnage. So they get their Phoenix back, but I hit them for two, which is good. Yep. And then next turn, I just, like, jam this Branch Walker and attack with everything, I think. Hmm, maybe I would turn. I guess if I hit a land next turn, I'm going to crease this for four. Losing losing the trample there feels a little bit bad. They do get to incubation this turn, which is pretty, pretty valuable. Getting another first striker down here is relevant for them also. It might be worth waiting on this until I can make it a 5-5. Five five. We'll see. We'll see what we draw. All right, so I definitely don't want to play this out as a 3-3, three three, so... 
So land is exactly what we wanted for Christmas there. We go up to 32. Don't know about you, but I'm feeling 32. Our, uh, these two on first strikers are really good against the explore package. A lot of these explore creatures stay within range of this getting first struck down. Just going to flip over next turn, giving them a bunch of mana. And then hopefully I'm going to make a land drop next turn and the turn after. So I'll go creases for five, creases for six on. One, two. Yep. So I do I do need to close this game out because my opponent is starting to generate a lot of card advantage. It's a card to the top for them. Incubation would be a good draw, just so I could exile this Phoenix. Alright, so let's go ahead and do this for four. Try and hit two lands here, or a land this turn and a land next turn, so that way this can be bigger. Perfect. Uh, Jailer Raider is actually very good too. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pass. So if I attack with everything, they like jump, they eat two of these, and they only take five. So I don't think that's worthwhile. So I'm going to go ahead and pass here. Next turn, I can go uh, Wild Growth Walker into Jade Light Ranger and gain 12, because that's how this works. Because that's okay. Worth noting, she does not have any copies of... Um, Angrath in their main deck, which is very good for us. Scribe top. Sure. CJ and Commander makes things messy. Not hard, but messy. would be very good. That one, that one can stay right there. Right. I mean, they've got a lot of cards in the bank, but, like, my board's a lot bigger than theirs. It's actually funny how how good the Zagana would have been this game, right? Just, like, giving these Trample would have been huge. So next turn, I have a Krasis for six. And then, hopefully, a Krasis for eight the following turn. Woof. Okay, well. We could still theoretically have a Krasis for eight the following turn, but... Feels a little bit bad to uh, get gas down before we gas up. We're basically just, like, waiting on a climb here. This attack is super aggressive. How many things do they have to block with to... Okay, that's real good for me. Uh, so they could block with a bunch of stuff here and kill this, but I'm definitely okay with that exchange. So this probably attacks and like eats a goblin. And this, this incongruity is really good because it pulls the rekindling phoenix out of the way, which opens me up to much better attacks next turn. Working down their goblins is also good with growth chamber guardian in my hand, which is nice. Climb uh, is lethal next turn with hydroid crisis in play at the moment. Really, really glad they played that out there. Before I before I get this incongruity in the bin for next turn. Keen another 12, NBD. No big deal. Explore package is as explore package does. Now the 
three three. Are we double shocking our rekindling Phoenix? Okay, they're gonna throw the Sigean Commander at it too. All right, uh, I think I just a space then, right? Like they don't have a, they don't have a three three anymore. Yeah, I'm, at, I'm at 54. I'm at I'm at 54. I don't know. Figure it out. <laughs> it's like uh. Their first strikers live, my wild growth walkers lives, the crisis lives. I hit them to I hit them to four, and I have like two wild growth walkers in play to abyss them with every turn. We're gonna throw this goblin token at my three two. Or the CG commander at my three two since the goblin token's trading with. Play my lethal attacker, go. Explore package is so silly and standard. So they have one Angrath in the sideboard, they have two fiery cannonades, they have one status statue, which is worth noting because it can combo with uh combo with what's it called? The Goblin Chain Whirler. Uh, I'm gonna cut my land war elves like I did last time. I'm gonna cut my collision colossuses. Uh, definitely want my Disdainful Strokes and my Thrashing Bronthodons. Bronthodon was the one I missed bringing in last time. Lava Coil also seems good here. Um, gosh, do I trim Hadana's Climb? I think I think I trimmed the Climb on the draw. I think on the draw I'm going to trim a Climb. Climb's only kind of good if I'm ahead. I think I want more things to help me gum up the board and get ahead. Draw this game. Yep, perfectly fine. Uh, this will probably be a hand where I play out the Wild Growth Walker, just like let it die to something on two, not a big deal. Then play Branch Walkers and follow up on three. This deck's got a lot of two drops in it, so especially since we have the splash or your turn three play is very often um, just like tap plan second two drop. Uh, one thing worth noting here is I did play the incorrect land on on one. I should have played the stomping ground because I have this basic island. So like if I want red mana next turn for some reason, I'm not going. I'm gonna have to shock in the land. It's a small thing, but it does matter. So because I have the island, it's correct to play stomping ground tiers so that way I could have all my colors on tap without taking damage. All right, no. No removal spell for the Wild Growth Walker here, just means I get to play Jade Light Ranger and just, like, run away with the game very quickly. Let's see if they have a Shock or Carnival Carnage for this or not. Uh, I would love to leave another Explore Creature on top of my deck, so... They could have, um... Lava Coil plus a second piece of removal next turn, but if they don't have that, the Wild Growth Walker is just gonna run away with the game. The card's real good. This is... This... These games against this deck really kind of exemplify to me why I think this archetype is so good. It's just the Explore package prevents you from getting run over, and the Hydroid Crisis package helps you grind against people that are trying to not run you over. So it's just like it's just like a really good balance, basically. So Sam's their one copy of status in the sideboard combined with a first strike creature. This walker should just be carrying the game home. The old, the old Texas Ranger popping off here. They did miss their fourth land drop as well, which is pretty good for us. Good blocks. Do, 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 do. 
Um, not been that actually. I'd kind of like to hit a land for next turn. Plenty of health. Just shocking the one they know about. I feel better after playing these games. She didn't really want to draw. She thought draws were kind of scummy, but it just doesn't make sense not to draw here. Um, the way this tournament's structured, someone at 4 and 1 could miss top 8, and 4 0 oh, 1's a lock. So just like playing it out when we're locked with a draw, I think is really silly. Oh! Oh, they have the, they have their one status out of the board. I should have held the incongruity up. That's funny. All right. I'm going to play a game here because I messed up. And that's fine. We're ahead and we drew. Play fast and loose, get punished. I should have I should have asked myself there, you know, like how's the one way uh, one way we lose the game and like they have one copy of status in the sideboard. And status in the chain roller is like the one way we lose the game. So we are potentially potentially going to lose now. Second second worm. Worm and second graces are both real good though. Let's see if they have a lava coil here or not. They didn't have a lava coil earlier in the game, but they've drawn a lot of cards since then. I probably want to avoid playing this Lava Coil since they have um, the 2 1 first striker that gives them a spell. Uh, I'm going to decline blocks here because I'm just going to like two turn lethal them in the air. At 29, so. Wild well, Growth Walker gained a lot of life. Probably see him incubation here. Uh, if I draw a land next turn, I think I'm just going to Ravager Worm. I'll just, like, put them to eight. Put them to four. I mean, Siege Gang, not a playable card for them next turn. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and do this. Driving in my Worm. Beep, beep. Hope no one wrecks in me. Rawr, give him the Worm. All right. So that makes uh, Crisis lethal next turn. Just need to have a removal spell for that. Need to have a removal spell for that, and they have to leave back a blocker for the worm who's now lethal. All right, Maddie digging for lava coil here. Did we get there? We draw a red source, we still kill them with the worm because of this attack. They have double shock, I suppose, here. There, good games. Good luck in the top eight Amazonian. So yeah, I that game ended up being a little bit closer than it otherwise would have if I would have just like held up the incongruity. They, they like they'd already played two chain whirlers, like they only had one status in the sideboard, but like I was so far ahead with the wild growth walker that I should have just like played around it because it was really their only catch-up mechanic, I think. So it's just how it goes. Uh good luck in the top eight. I'm gonna go enjoy 